When I was growing up on an Iowa farm in the 1960s, the Hitler Youth Knife hung in the garage, in no particular place of honor. Dad, a former infantry captain in World War II, used this knife whenever he needed a sharp blade for something on the farm. And it was sharp. This is the first knife I ever saw that you could shave with. But it was a utility knife for my dad. He would use it whenever he needed a sharp blade on the farm. You can see the wear there. This was also his hunting knife. He used it on the first Iowa deer hunts after the war in 1940. And the year I was born, 1952, he used this knife to uh, field dress a nice doe. Here are the specs on this knife. The handle is four and a half inches long, and the blade was originally six inches long. I'm not sure if my dad ground it down or not, but it appears to be about half an inch shorter. It's got a drop point blade, and this knife was made in Solingen, Germany. Hope I pronounced that right. The blade is made of 440 stainless steel. The handle is of some sort of plastic. It uh, got broken somewhere along the line, and this was nickel plated. It shows somewhere also. Right here was a Nazi emblem, and this was pretty much a standard knife for many of the German youth at the time. The sheath is metal, and it's got a leather loop and a belt holder there. Originally it was black, and uh, this one has gotten kind of rusty over the years. This knife would have been designed to wear as part of your Hitler Youth uniform. Now the knife originally was designed to be a fighting knife, but uh, if you take a look at it in comparison to a modern day hunting knife, there's a lot in common with it. The drop point, of course, on both of these. This is a cold steel master hunter. The blade with kind of a guard there so that you won't slip if you're uh, gutting an animal or something like that. And then also there's some a good belly right there in the blade. Much of what you will use when you are uh, gutting an animal or doing a lot of field work. If you look at the spine of the blade, you can see these two knives are pretty similar. They're both sturdy knives designed to be used for rigorous field work. My dad didn't tell war stories from World War II, but he did mention one time that he had picked up this knife from alongside the road. What would happen during the last days of World War II, there were mass surrenders, and uh, all the soldiers who were being captured would be lined up and all their weapons taken away. This would have been a weapon that was left alongside the road, and I think that's probably where my dad picked it up. So I can't say much about the history of this knife other than what happened to it after it got back to Iowa and became a hunting knife. I'm actually very pleased that one of these symbols of the Nazi regime ended up being a useful tool to an Iowa farmer. This is SurvivalCommonSense.com. Thank you for watching.